Did he? It's not looking good. Well, it never was looking good. From the moment you paid Cassie that that whatever undisclosed amount of money you paid her, the very next day, quicker than you could get an Amazon order. That's right, quicker than you could get an Amazon order. You was looking bad ever since. Now, Diddy has been hit with a slew of lawsuits, you guys. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Woo-woo. Diddy has been hit with more lawsuits, including one girl who is a lady now who claims at the time she was just 13 years old when she said the music mogul drugged and aurored her at a house party. So, in total... These lawsuits that he's facing now is five additional federal suits, all of which was filed by that Texas attorney, Tony Busby, on behalf of his clients who he claimed did he sexually assaulted them in separate attacks between the year 2000 and 2022. Two more cases was filed Sunday night in state court in New York. Put in the year 2000, okay. Perhaps the most disturbing allegations have been made, well, have been levied by a woman who claimed she was 13 in the year 2000 when she was dropped off by a friend at Radio City Music Hall in New York City to attend the MTV Music Awards. Okay, according to the docs obtained by Tim Z, the accuser listed as Jane Doe did not have a ticket, so she stayed outside. Uh, during the event, but she was determined to go to one of the after parties crossing paths with a limo driver who purportedly worked for Combs. Yep, J Lo, go on and tell us what you know, cause you went, you went with Diddy to the MTV Awards. Y'all was a couple back then, so go on and stop laying low and tell us what you know, cause the driver allegedly told the accuser that guess what, she fit what Diddy was looking for. And invited her to the bad boy CEO at the party, which was held at a large white house. Once inside, the accuser says she was forced to sign a non-disclosure agreement and looked around and she recognized several celebrities at the soiree. Uh, the accuser claims the waiters distributed drinks to everyone and she observed widespread drug use hmm. with attendees smoking marijuana. And snorting cocaine. She says she drank a reddish yellow drink that tasted like orange and cranberry juice. And it was bitter, causing her to feel woozy and lightheaded. Did he? He sure know how to get them. Because they saying it's, it's a lot. Kim Porter. I'm telling you now. Kim Porter was about to tell us. She said she had to lie down in the bedroom where Diddy eventually entered with two other celebrities, a male and a female, both whom are unnamed in the suit. Oops. Mm. The accuser says the male celebrity ripped off her clothes and honored her while the female celebrity watched Diddy also allegedly violently uh, sexually assaulted her while the celebrities watched. She said she was able to escape the bedroom and stagger out of the house to a gas station nearby where she received help. That's, I'm telling you, Kim Porter was trying to tell us. Kim Porter was trying to tell us of the monster that Diddy really, really is just like these other people. But they live to tell a story, you guys. They live to tell a story. Do you hear me? They live to tell their story and three of the other accusers were allegedly assaulted by Diddy in the year 2022 namely a businessman a personal trainer and a female hip-hop artist another accuser was allegedly assaulted by Diddy on Memorial Day weekend of 2014 now I gotta go do my research golly bro Diddy you have a person working all night long like a Richie style Diddy's attorney talking about, uh, you know, the press conference that preceded today's barrage of filings were a clear attempt to garner publicity. And they have full confidence that Diddy, Puff Daddy, will be found not guilty. That's right. In the legal system, they believe in will find Diddy not guilty because Diddy says he didn't assault no man or 
no woman or no minor. Okay, Diddy, if you say so, just like you said, you ain't be Cassie ass. But guess what? We all found out that something was uh, uh, popping this and, 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 and stirring in the pot when we saw that guy dang on video drop. And then you tried to accuse the feds of dropping it. The feds said, hell no, nah, Homeland Security and the feds said, nope. That is not our fault. Whoever you thought you paid off for that video, hmm. And now it got me wondering, because a lot of people said it's a lot of stuff on the black market with Diddy that's for sale. And not only that, if y'all go ahead on over to Faith Devin's video, I remember on her channel, I'm surprised she ain't close to comment section, because they getting on Diddy, because guess what? Diddy and a guy named Chuck produced it but guess what chuck is dead and diddy is still 